Every moment, every breath, we thank Allah. The blessings of Ramadan, the blessings of Ramadan, the blessings of Ramadan, the blessings of Ramadan. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. والصلاة والسلام على سيد المرسلين أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الصلاة والسلام عليك يا رسول الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا حبيب الله الصلاة والسلام عليك يا نبي الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا نور الله My dear Islamic brothers and viewers of Madani Channel Alhamdulillah Azza wa Jal We are back with another episode of the blessings of Ramadan Inshallah Azza wa Jal As usual, firstly we will listen to the excellence of Durood Sharif The beloved of Allah, the faultless Sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said Whoever recites Durood upon me a thousand times in one day Shall not die until he sees his place in heaven Sallu ala al-Habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam Sayyiduna Sahal bin Abdullah radiallahu ta'ala anhu narrates that the shining moon of prophethood the ultimate intercessor distributor of Allah's bounties sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said there is a gate in heaven called Rayan on the day of judgment this gate will be opened for those who fast in the world no one else will be allowed to enter through this gate. It will be announced where are the people who used to fast, they will stand up and no one else will be allowed to enter through this gate. This gate will be closed after they enter heaven. Subhanallah. Dear Islamic brothers and viewers of Madani channel, how fortunate fasting people are. They will be treated with great splendor on the day of judgment. There will also be other fortunate people walking into heaven. But these people will be given the privilege of entering through the gate called Rayan. Subhanallah. Sayyiduna Salama bin Qaisar radiallahu ta'ala anhu narrates that Makki Madani Mustafa, the mercy of the universe, king of the world, sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam said, anyone who fasts a day for Allah's pleasure, Allah will move him away from hell, the distance covered by a baby crow flying continuously until it grows old and dies. Dear Islamic brothers and viewers of Madani channel, crows have very long lifespans. Huniyatut Falibin states, a crow can live up to 500 years. Amir al-Mu'minin Sayyiduna Umar Faruq Azam radiallahu ta'ala anhu narrates that the mercy of the universe Makki Madani Mustafa sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said If anyone fast with silence and peace for even one day in Ramadan Allah Azza wa Jal will make for him a palace of red rubies or green emeralds Subhanallah Azza wa Jal Sayyiduna Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu narrates that The blessed king of the universe, the ultimate intercessor Sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said There is zakah Charity for everything and the zakah for your body is fasting and fasting is half of patience. Sayyiduna Abdullah bin Abi Awfa radiallahu ta'ala anhu narrates that the beloved Rasul of Allah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa said the sleeping of a fasting person is worship. His silence is tasbih. His prayers are answered and his deeds are accepted. Subhanallah Sawajal. Did you see how great a fasting person is? His sleeping is worship, his silence is tasbih, his supplications and deeds are accepted by Allah Azzawajal. Mother of the believers, Sayyidatuna Aisha Suddika radiallahu ta'ala anha says that the ocean of mercy for mankind, our beloved Rasul sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa said, if anyone spends the morning in the state of fast, the gates of the sky are open for him. His body parts do tasbih and the angels in the first sky pray for his forgiveness until sunset. If he performs one or two rakat, 
they become a light for him in the skies. The heavenly maids who will be his wives say, Ya Allah, Azzawajal, send him to us. We are anxious to see him. Subhanallah, Azzawajal, Subhanallah, Azzawajal. Look how fortunate a fasting person is. The gates of the sky are open for him. The angels of the first sky pray for his forgiveness until sunset. If he prays Salah, it will be light for him in the sky. And the maids of heaven will be waiting for him anxiously. And if he says, La ilaha illallah or Subhanallah or Allahu Akbar, then 70,000 angels will write the reward until sunset. Sayyiduna Ali Karamullahu Ta'ala Wajhahul Kareem narrates that the blessed and noble Makki Madani Mustafa Sallallahu Ta'ala Ali Wa Sallam said, the one whom his fast stops from eating or drinking what he desires, Allah Azza wa will satisfy him with heavenly fruits and drinks. Subhanallah. Sayyiduna Abdullah Ibn Abbas Radiullahu Ta'ala Anhu narrates that the king of paradise the beloved of Allah Azza wa Jal Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wasallam said on the day of judgment a golden eating mat will be placed for fasting people whilst other people will be waiting for their accountability Allahu Akbar Sayyiduna Abdullah ibn Umar Radiullahu Ta'ala and Huma narrates that Rasulullah Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wasallam said in the sight of Allah Azza wa Jal there are seven types of deeds Two are those that necessitate two other things. Two are such that their reward is the same. One is such that its reward is ten times. One is such that its reward is seven hundred times. And the last is such that no one except Allah Azza wa Jal knows its exact reward. The two that necessitate two are number one, if anyone meets Allah Azza wa Jal, having worshipped him sincerely without associating a partner with him, then he will definitely enter heaven. Entrance into heaven will become necessary for him. And number two, if anyone meets Allah Azzawajal having associated a partner with him, then hell will become necessary for him. If anyone commits a sin, he will suffer equal consequences. Only one sin. If anyone intends to perform a good deed, he will be rewarded the same as one deed. If anyone carries out a good deed, then he will be rewarded ten times. If anyone spends in the path of Allah Azza wa Jal, then every dirham will be equivalent to 700 dirhams and every dinar will be equivalent to 700 dinars. And fasting is for Allah Azza wa Jal. No one except him knows its reward. Subhanallah, my dear Islamic brothers and viewers of Madani channel, anyone who dies with faith will either enter heaven by the grace of Allah Azza wa Jal without being held accountable or Allah Azza wa Jal forbid after suffering the punishment for his sins. Anyone who dies in the state of disbelief will remain in hell for eternity. If anyone commits a sin, he will be punished for only one sin. Just just look at the mercy of Allah You will be given the reward for doing a good deed, for simply making the intention. And if you carry it out, you will be rewarded ten times. Spending in the path of Allah will earn you 700 times more reward. And what about someone who fasts? Only Allah knows his reward. Sayyiduna Kabul Ahbar says, On the day of judgment, an announcement will be made. Every man will reap what he sowed. He will be rewarded equal to his deeds, except the people of the Quran, scholars of the Quran, and those who fasted. They will be given immeasurable reward. Dear Islamic brothers and viewers of Madani channel, in the hereafter, we will reap whatever we are sowing in the world. Scholars and fasting people are very lucky because they will be granted immeasurable reward on the Day of Judgment. In order to obtain the blessings of fasting and to illuminate your inner selves with knowledge, please join the Madani environment of Dawat Islami, the international, non-political, 
religious movement of Quran and Sunnah. In order to improve your character, please buy a Madani Inamad booklet from Maktabatul Madina, fill it in daily and hand it into the relevant responsible Islamic brother of Dawat Islami in your area and travel with Madani Kafilas in the company of devotees of Prophet وسلم, to learn Sunnah of Makki Madani Mustafa There are great blessings of traveling with Madani Kafila. An Islamic brother of Hyderabad Babul Islam Sen gave the following statement. Probably in 1994, the mother of my children suffered from jaundice. She was in serious condition and was under medical treatment in her parental house in Babul Madina, Karachi. As I was aware of the blessings of the Madani Kafla, I traveled with the Madani Kafla for 63 days. During the Kafla, I visited Babul Madina, Karachi. Upon phoning, I was informed that she was still in serious condition. The bloban had increased to an alarming level. There was no improvement in her condition in spite of being given 25 drips of glucose. I tried to comfort her saying that she would recover due to the blessings of Madani Kafila, inshallah, Savajal. I kept in touch with her whilst in the Kafila. Alhamdulillah, Zawajal, her condition began to improve day by day. I was to travel out of Babul Madina after five days. When I phoned to ask about her health, I was given the good news that Alhamdulillah, Zawajal, the blowbin report had been normal and the doctor also expressed satisfaction. I thanked Allah Azzawajal and happily traveled further with the Madani Kafla in the company of devotees of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Now back to the blessings of Ramadan. Sayyiduna Abu Sayyid Khudri Radiallahu Ta'ala Anhu narrates that Noor of Unseen Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, if anyone fasts for one day in Allah Azzawajal's way, Allah Azzawajal will move his face the distance of 70 years away from hell. Subhanallah, dear Islamic brothers and viewers of Madani channel, as there are countless advantages of fasting, there are also severe warnings for missing a single fast of Ramadan without a valid reason. If anyone misses a single fast in Ramadan deliberately without a valid reason, then he will not be able to make up for it even if he fast for the rest of his life. Sayyiduna Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu narrates that our Makki Madani Mustafa, the ultimate intercessor, king of the universe, sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam said, anyone who misses one fast in Ramadan without a valid reason or without illness cannot make up for it even if he fast for the rest of his life. This means that he can never earn the blessings that lie in the fast of Ramadan. So therefore, we must not be negligent and deprive ourselves of this huge blessing. People who fast and then break it without a valid reason must feel the wrath of Allah Sajjal. Sayyiduna Abu Umama Bahiri ta'ala and who said that he heard beloved Rasul the fountain of knowledge and wisdom sallallahu ta'ala wasallam saying whilst i was asleep two people came to me and took me to a mountain when i got to the middle of the mountain i heard terrifying sounds upon asking about the sounds i was told these are the voices of the people in hell i proceeded further and saw people who were tied upside down with the wings of their own ankles. Their jaws had been torn apart and were bleeding. I asked who they were and I was told they used to break their fast before their due times. Allahu Akbar. Dear Islamic brothers and viewers of Madani channel, breaking a fast in Ramadan without a valid reason or without a valid excuse is a major sin. The hadith refers to the people who fast but then break their fast deliberately before sunset without a proper reason. So the punishment mentioned in this hadith is for those who fast but then break their fast. There is a severe punishment for those 
who do not fast at all in Ramadan without valid reasons and they deserve the punishment of hell. May Allah Azza wa Jal protect us from his wrath for the sake of his beloved Rasul sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. Ameen bijahin nabiyyil ameen sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. Sayyiduna Jabir bin Abdullah radiyallahu ta'ala an huma narrates that the king of Madinatul Munawwara, the chief of Makkatul Mukarrama sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said, the one who does not fast in Ramadan is unfortunate. The one who has both parents or one but does not treat them well is unfortunate. The one who hears me being mentioned but does not recite Durood is unfortunate. Sayyiduna Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala and who narrates that Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam said, May the man who does not recite Durood upon me when I am mentioned be disgraced. May the man who spends Ramadan but is not forgiven before it departs be disgraced. May the man who has old parents but is not put into heaven due to respecting and serving them be disgraced. Sallu ala al-Habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. Dear Islamic brothers and viewers of Madani channel, though the apparent condition of fast is to abstain from deliberately eating, drinking and sexual intercourse, there are also some inner aspects of fasting which we must know so that we can succeed in acquiring all the blessings of fasting. There are three degrees of fasting. Number one, the fast of common people. Number two, the fast of the pious. Number three, the fast of extremely pious. Number one, the literal meaning of fast is to abstain while by Sharia, it implies to abstain from eating, drinking and sexual intercourse deliberately from dawn subah sadiq to sunset and it is called the fast of the common people. Number two, abstaining from all types of evils as well as eating, drinking and sexual intercourse is the fast of the pious people. Number three, to refrain from all the worldly activities and devote oneself completely to Allah's worship is the fast of the extremely pious. Dear Islamic brothers and viewers of Madani channel, in addition to abstaining from eating and drinking, we must also stop all of our parts from sins. Sayyiduna Data Ganj Baksh Ali Hajwayi Rahmatullahi Ta'ala said, in actual fast, Fast implies abstinence, which has many conditions, such as preventing the stomach from eating and drinking, preventing eyes from staring lustfully, preventing ears from listening to backbiting, preventing the tongue from useless and inflammatory talking, preventing the body from disobeying Allah in any way. One can be called a true fasting person only when he fulfills all the aforementioned conditions. Unfortunately, most of our Islamic brothers and sisters do not follow the manners of fasting at all. They feel proud of remaining thirsty and hungry. Despite fasting, they commit a lot of such acts forbidden by Sharia. Even though such a fast will be considered valid, but one will not be able to get spiritual peace and pleasure. Sallu ala al-Habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. Dear Islamic brothers and viewers of Madani channel, please have pity on yourselves and think carefully. In Ramadan, the fasting person avoids eating and drinking during the day, which was absolutely permissible even during the day in other months. Now ponder, even the acts such as eating and drinking which were halal before Ramadan are forbidden in this sacred month. So the acts which were already haram, such as backbiting, lying, telling tales, suspicion, swearing, watching films, dramas, non mehram women, etc., shaving the beard or trimming it less than a fist, misbehaving parents, distressing others without the permission of Sharia, will automatically become even more severely haram. When a fasting person refrains from eating and drinking 
pure and clean foods in Ramadan, then why does he not refrain from unlawful haram acts? So if a person avoids eating and drinking in Ramadan, but does not avoid acts that are unlawful and lead to hell, then what type of fasting person he is? Remember, the beloved Rasul of Allah وسلم, warned, if anyone does not refrain from evil talking and evil acts, remember Allah does not need his remaining hungry and thirsty. He وسلم, also said, fasting involves abstaining not only from eating and drinking, but also from useless and indecent talking. Therefore, as a fasting person, reference from eating and drinking, he should also abstain from sins such as lying, backbiting, suspicions, false accusations, misusing his tongue, etc. The Rasul of mankind, the peace of our heart and mind, the most generous and kind, وسلم, also said, if someone fights with you or swears at you, you should say to him, I am fasting. Dear Islamic brothers and viewers of Madani channel, these days if one man begins to fight another, he replies, shut up or else remember I am fasting and I will break my fast by you. Meaning, I am going to eat you. Allah Azzawajal forbid, we must never utter such words and we must always remain humble. We can avoid such matters only when we make all of our body parts have fast stop them from committing sins. The fast of body parts, for example, preventing all the body parts from committing sins is necessary, not only in the state of fast, but throughout the life as well. This is possible only when we have fear of Allah in our hearts. Think about the terrifying situation of the judgment day. Every man will worry about himself. The sun will be showering fire, scorching heat, tongues will be hanging out of mouths due to extreme thirst. Wife, mother and father will be avoiding husband, son and children. Sinners will be caught, their mouth will be sealed and their body parts will testify to their sins. It is mentioned in Surah Yasin. أَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اليوم نختم على أفواههم وتكلمنا أيديهم وتشهد أرجلهم بما كانوا يكسبون Translation Kanzuliman Today we shall set seal on their mouths and their hands will talk to us and their feet will bear witness of their doings. O weak and feeble Islamic brothers, fear from the troubles and tribulation of the Day of Judgment and make continuous efforts to stop your body parts from indulging in the calamity of sins. Here are details of the fasting of body. We should make our eyes fast by looking at only permissible things such as Masajid, the Holy Quran, the tombs of saints, Rahimahumullah Ta'ala, Scholars, pious people, if possible, the house of Allah Azzawajal, the sweet smelling streets, valleys and mountains of Makkatul Mukarrama, Zadahallahu Sharafan wa Ta'azima, the walls of the houses of Madinatul Munawwara, Zadahallahu Sharafan wa Ta'azima, the green dome, deserts, gardens, and blessed masajid of Medina. Dear Islamic brothers and viewers of Madani channel, please do make your eyes fast. Everyone should make his eyes fast at all times. Never misuse the Allah-given eyes in watching what has been prohibited by Sharia, such as films, dramas, non-mahram women, attractive boys with lust, or anyone's private parts, and even your own private parts unnecessarily. Similarly, do not watch the games or amusements that make you negligent of Allah's remembrance, like the dance of monkeys, and bears of streets making money and bears dance and watching their dance are both impermissible. Cricket, wrestling, football, hockey, 
cards, chess, video games, table tennis, table football, etc. Do not peek into another person's house without his permission. Do not look at someone else's letter. Do not look at a notebook that belongs to someone else without his permission. Remember, a hadith states, anyone who looks at his fellow brother's letter without his permission looks at fire. Fast of the ears implies listening to permissible voices and sounds only such as recitation of the Holy Quran, sunnah filled speeches, useful talking, the adhan and iqamah, reply to the adhan and iqamah, never listen to the sound of drums, music, singing, useless and dirty jokes, backbiting, telling tales, false of other people and do not eavesdrop two persons private conversation. Beloved Rasul sallam, has said, if anyone listens secretly to the conversation of other people who dislike it on the day of judgment, molten lead will be poured into his ears. Fast of the tongue implies uttering permissible and good words only such as recitation of the Holy Quran, zikr, drood, naat, dars, sunnah filled speeches, inviting towards good, useful and helpful religious speech, etc. Avoid useless talking. Beware. Never misuse your tongue in committing sins such as swearing, lying, telling tales, etc. If a spoon becomes impure, it can be washed by pouring one or two glasses of water on it. But if the tongue becomes impure due to dirty speech, then the water of all seven oceans will not be able to purify it. Inshallah, in the end, we'll say our Madani Maqsad together. I must strive to reform myself and the people of the whole world. Insha'Allah Azza wa Jal. Sallu ala al-Habib. Sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad. Every moment, every breath, we thank Allah. The blessings of Ramadan. The blessings of Ramadan. The blessings of Ramadan. The blessings of Ramadan.